everybody with type 1 diabetes this is dr jody and you are watching type 1 diabetes tv the place to be for living a long and healthy life with t1d so i'm in my kitchen today and i thought i'd share with you um i just made a little pizza um i got these cauliflower crust uh things already super easy at uh, trader joe's and um they have only four grams of carb, which is zero sugar, mostly protein and fat because they're made with cauliflower and then eggs and cheese. Um, but you just put whatever topping you want on it for, uh, and then bake it for seven minutes. So I made a little, I already cut it up. And then I thought, hey, I should, I should call my, I should video my subscribers. So all I did, I don't have any red sauce. So I just put cheddar cheese and then in some chicken sausages on. And um, I'm super excited to have a little low carb pizza. Now, because there's almost no carbs in this, right? The cauliflower is mostly, like I said, eggs and cheese. And then I put more cheese and more protein. Um, guess what? I am not gonna be dosing up front for this at all. This is not gonna cause a quick spike, right? There's not any fast acting carbs in this meal. However, don't be fooled to think you don't need insulin for this meal because protein can have a slow and steady delayed rise. Some of my clients see a rise after two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, I mean, hours, two, three, four hours, and some six hours. And then fat has its own effect. Um, I just was reading some studies that showed fat can cause a need for more insulin over up to eight hours. Um, of course, it depends how much fat you're eating. But if you want to learn more, I have a great course called How to Stay in Range After Meals. Uh, you'll have lifetime access to it when you get it. Um, it's broken up into chapters, clear videos, five to 20 minutes of very point to point information on how to stay in range after meals. So uh, my last A1C was 5.3. This is my numbers so far today. Um, let's see. So that's my number so far today. I think that one little spike was, uh, you know, went up to like 130, 140. And that was probably just, uh, I think that was just delayed from breakfast. Yeah, that was just, I didn't dose on time for breakfast. So if you are struggling, if you are on the roller coaster, if you're pulling your hair out and you would love my help, check out my course, How to Stay in Range After Meals. It's on my website, which is Dr. Jody N, as in naturopathic D, Dot com. Um, or you can just Google Dr. Jody Diabetes and all my stuff comes up. My website, my TED Talk that has 4 million views, um, my YouTube channel, all that great stuff. So I have dedicated my career to helping people with type 1 diabetes. I've had it since I was seven, so that's been a while. <laughs> and unfortunately, the majority of type 1s do not get training that um, really allows you to stay in range. So that is why I've created my video courses and I work privately with patients, um, have my membership program, etc. So if you're struggling, please don't keep struggling. Uh, I've got lots of resources to help you. Check out my website. All right, thanks for watching. Here's to living a long and healthy life with T1D.